As pastor of Friendship Baptist Church, we want you to know that God's in control. Though everything around us seems to be out of control, and many people are very much out of control, God is in control. If you go over to Daniel chapter number 4, you'll find a man named King Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar was in power during this period. God began to work in his life. Now, though King Nebuchadnezzar had witnessed under Daniel's ministry many times where God worked, but in this portion of, John, of Daniel 4, you'll see there where God worked in Nebuchadnezzar's life personally. After that time that God had moved upon Nebuchadnezzar and he witnessed the power of God in his life, we read in Daniel chapter number 4 and verse 34, And at the end of the days I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up mine eyes into the heaven. And my understanding returned unto me. And I blessed the Most High. And I praised and honored Him that liveth forever. Whose dominion is everlasting dominion. And His kingdom is from generation to generation. There in those verses you witness the power of God in Nebuchadnezzar's life. As he confessed God as the Almighty God. As the God that was sovereign and in control of his life and his kingdom. And his culture of that day. And from that day forward, you'll find that King Nebuchadnezzar knew there was only one and true living God. And in these days of uncertainty, we pray that you will know that there is one and true living God. Realize the impact that God has upon your life and how God is blessing and working and His grace is sufficient for you in this very hour. We'd also like to speak words of encouragement and words of comfort to those of you that's going through grief. We've had many pass from this life unto eternity in and around our church family in the last few days. And we pray that the grace of God will be upon you. Understand that when you leave this life, you leave to meet the presence of God. And those loved ones of yours that are leaving this earth, he or she as they depart from this life, are departing to be in the presence of God. They are now worshiping God because God is the God of the living and the God of the dead. It is God who is showing forth His love in their life. And they are now in the presence of God. And the glory of God fills round about them. They see God face to face. And they know Him. So in that hope that we have in Christ Jesus, we're looking forward to that day when we see them and see Christ. Know Him as He is. For those of you that are listening to this uh, recording today and have never asked Jesus Christ, into your life and into your heart, we pray that you know that Jesus came to this earth, died for your sins, rose again, lives today to give you life, to give you salvation, to know the power of God. It tells us over in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 9, for God had not appointed us unto wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 9, look that up for yourself. You can have salvation in Christ Jesus. He died to give you freedom from your sin. His blood will wash away your sins. We pray that you would just simply ask Him into your life. Pray a prayer something like this one. Lord Jesus, I ask You now to forgive me my sins, to come into my life, I, to be my Savior. I desire in my heart to be Your child. If you'll ask Christ to save you, He'll save you today. I ask these things upon the promises of God's Word. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. We here at Friendship are not presently having service in person, but we are ministering here by the grace of God. If we can help you in any way in your spiritual life, in your physical life, please do not hesitate to contact us in any manner. We'd be glad to respond to you. Lord bless you. We'll see you again real soon.